Someone once said that writers come up with ideas, directors translate ideas into pictures, but it's editors who tell the story. My name is Josiah Rep, and I'm a storyteller. Every video, whether it's a documentary, a how-to video, or a sketch comedy, is telling a story. This past summer, I worked on a two-hour production for Sacred Road Ministries, both filming and editing the various work projects, outreach, and events the ministry took part in over the course of the summer, and summarizing them all in a two-hour video. I had to go through hundreds, if not thousands, of clips sorting good from bad, sorting them in order, and then controlling what order different segments and events came in. There's two sides to editing, the flow from shot to shot, and the overall pacing, and both are a part of storytelling. The tone of one clip will vary completely from the tone of another. Sometimes this is done through music, sometimes by including audio from interviews I conducted, and sometimes just by leaving the original audio of the clip in. The pacing varies sometimes too, sometimes it moves from clip to clip frequently, sometimes it lets you sit and get immersed in a particular moment. What is good for one project may be bad for another. I wouldn't edit a real training video the way I edited this parody of one. When I'm editing a video blog where it's just myself talking to a camera, jump cuts will occur frequently. But when I edit a more serious video where someone is giving his testimony to a crowd, I want to leave the pauses in. I want people to have room to think about what he's saying, to feel like they're there. Being an editor is a lot like being a sound mixer at a concert. It is half an art form, half wrestling with technology, and if people are aware you're there, it usually means you've messed up. I can be layering narration, sound effects, multiple camera angles, all recorded at different times, but as far as the viewer should be aware, this is all one event. If people are aware of the work I'm actually doing in this project, they're no longer focusing on the narrative it is trying to tell. The immersion is broken, and it makes the whole concept of this editing reel strange. I've edited montages of my previous work before, as well as montages of works done by other people. But a montage specifically of good edits seems counterintuitive to me, because if the edits are good, you don't notice them. So, pointing out that they're good is counterintuitive, as it inherently makes them worse. Unless that's the whole point of what I'm trying to say. Because editing is storytelling. It's taking moving images and turning them into something with a narrative, with a point. Something with a beginning, a middle, and an end.